Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Yesterday, Ubiquity released the Access Point U6 Enterprise in Wall. So this Access Point was sitting in the early Access Store for six to eight months and it's finally released. I think they only pushed it out once in the EA Store and never again, we never saw it in stock. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it out of the box, we're gonna replace my U6 in Wall with the enterprise wall and then see how it performs. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do so is to hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. And I do have affiliate links in the description below. So now let's go see what comes in the box with the U6 enterprise in wall and we'll compare it to one of their normal Wi-Fi 5 in wall for a size comparison. And this is the U6 enterprise in wall and this thing is absolutely massive. Let me grab one of the old Wi-Fi 5 in wall. Putting that on the enterprise access point, we could tell that it's about double the size of their normal in wall AP. So you need to keep that into consideration when you're going to be deploying these. So we have our access point on the top and then we have a quick start guide as normal. I never use these, but you can scan the QR code. Below that, we also have the mounting bracket. If you have a power receptacle beside where your AP is going to go, it may not fit. I'm going to be replacing this with my U6 in wall, so I'm hoping we could get it on. It comes with some screws and anchors, a release key, and then some other screws to put it onto the mounting plate. This is a Wi-Fi 6E access point, which is the second in their line. They also have the U6 Enterprise, which is more of the disc shape that you would put on your ceiling. On the bottom of the access point, we have four one gigabit ports, and one of them is a PoE pass-through, but you need to be using PoE++ to be able to use this. We also have the reset button. On the bottom, we have a PoE in, which is a 2.5 gigabit ethernet interface. The access point is just one piece and they don't come apart. So if we were looking at the old style of the Wi-Fi 5 ones, the cover plate came off of it. In this one, it doesn't. And I believe in the U6 in wall, it's like this as well. So now what I got to do, I need to bring this downstairs, rip off the U6 in wall, and then put in the enterprise in wall. First, we need to get the U6 in wall taken off and we got to get some help from my trusty employees. Okay, so the U6 in wall was the same design as the Enterprise where it's just in one piece. This front cover doesn't come off. So now let's go ahead, take this mounting bracket off and put the new one back on. The U6 in wall plate is now off and we have this wire exposed. This is plugging into my Enterprise switch which is capable of doing 2.5 gigabits per second. Yes, this drywall ring is too small for how this is in here. There was an electrical box in here before, but something got broken on it. So I just replaced it with this. I don't know how to patch drywall, so we'll get somebody else in here eventually to patch this up. But our U6 Enterprise should cover it nicely. Hopefully it fits beside this electrical plug. Now this is the Enterprise bracket. I'm gonna put the cable through the middle of it, and then we're just gonna line it up with the holes of that drywall ring, and it does look like it's gonna fit. So now I'll just put the two screws into the drywall ring, and it should be able to hold up the Enterprise AP. Also, I know people are gonna say, why don't you use a drill to do this? I prefer doing it by hand, but you guys could use whatever you'd like. Next, we just need to plug in the Enterprise access point to this cable, and then click it onto the back of the mount. And there you have it. It is now on the wall and there is this little white light that is showing us that it needs to be adopted to our controller. So we'll go back up to the computer and then do that. The Enterprise AP is now on my wall. That bracket was a little loose and that's because of that drywall ring. So I will have to replace that eventually. But we can see in my Unify network controller that it's ready to add the U6 Enterprise in wall. So let's add it in. As we can see, the Enterprise in wall is now adopting, but one thing I want to do, I want to create a separate Wi-Fi network just for the 6 gigahertz band to do my testing. I only have this computer that does 6 gigahertz, so that's all we're going to be able to use. So under my Wi-Fi network, I'm just going to call the 6 gigahertz test. I'm going to give it a password of test1234, and then I'm just going to throw it on my default network. We're going to create a new AP group and only have that Enterprise in wall in there. So I'll create a new AP group. I'll call it six gigahertz test. And then we'll add the enterprise in wall. So for testing, I forgot that I did have another device that has Wi-Fi 6E and that's a NetAlly AirCheck G3. They did send this to me and there will be a bunch of videos on it. 
but it does have this tri-band antenna. I'll show you one of the tests from my main floor of how the AirCheck G3 looks. And then for the other tests for the upstairs in the basement, we'll just look at some screenshots. Then we will do a speed test from this computer that also has Wi-Fi 6E. All right, so we're connected to the AirCheck G3 and this is just a video that I took. You can remotely manage the NetAlly AirCheck G3, which is a great feature. But you can see here that we have a six gigahertz test and we're sitting on the six gigahertz network. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this play. It's gonna do seven different tests. You can tell that we're on channel 37E and it's at 5% and we could also see the throughput rate of 1.7, 1.9 gigabits per second. I will end up clicking on the six gigahertz test and we'll take a look. So now we could see our signal. We could also see the noise. We could see the signal to noise ratio. We could see the retries, the utilization. And then down at the bottom, we could see the physical TX rate. And we're pretty much capping out at that 2.5. This is on the main floor where the access point is sitting. Another great thing about the NetAlly AirCheck G3 is it saves all your results to Link Live. So here we could see the first one that I just showed you on screen. And we could see that physical link at about 2400 megabits per second. Now this next test was the one from my basement. In the basement, we're getting 1400 megabits per second. And that's one floor lower than the access point. If we look at my top floor, that was the worst one. The top floor only got 864.7 megabits per second, which is still really good. Now this computer is connected to that Wi-Fi 6E test network. Let's run a speed test. Okay, and our results were 800 down by 800 up. My internet connection is three gig by three gig, but this is pretty great. Again, this computer is one floor away from the access point. So that's gonna be it for this video on the enterprise in-wall access point by Ubiquity. And I really do like it. The form factor is a little bit big, but if you're looking for Wi-Fi 6E, it's a great option other than their U6AP that you put on your ceiling. Not a lot of people will be utilizing Wi-Fi 6E for quite a while. It's really for high dense environments. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.